Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you so much, Yachi and Dorothy, for inviting me here. Uh, pleasure to be here. <clears throat> what am I talking about today? Uh, I'm talking about our, you know, uh, a decade-long vision for what we are trying to build. Call this converting cloud to crypto. You can see the image here, you know, cloud getting converted into a symbol some of you may have seen before. Okay, so why, why is this important? So, the first thing is when you think about applications, when you know, Yachi just talked about you know, gaming and other social applications. Um, when you're thinking about applications, you can split them in two dimensions. One is throughput, how fast can you run the application? The second one is how much value is being transacted on that application. Today, a lot of crypto is basically high value applications with low throughput. That's where we are today. But you look at cloud, uh, a lot of the most valuable applications are actually very low value per bit, which means, you know, each tweet not worth much, but Twitter or Facebook worth a lot because together it's worth a lot. So that's the interesting regime that we have to move as crypto to en enable consumer applications. So why should you move from cloud to crypto? You know, crypto brings native incentives, user-owned governance, permissionless innovation, all the cool things we like to talk about. But there are also limitations. We are not able to operate today in the regime where we can actually bring cloud applications to crypto. So our thesis here is that the perfect way to actually build consumer apps on crypto is to build on Ethereum rollups. One simple mental model that's useful for us to think about is each rollup is like a server. Ethereum is like the internet which connects these servers. Useful mental model to keep in mind. So why build as rollups? Number one, with a rollup, one of the very powerful things that's happening is that if you plug in a sequencer, you know, usually rollups have single sequencers, they can actually give you instant confirmation, giving you the best UX. Second, rollups are highly customizable. You can actually run your own virtual machine, whatever programming environment you want, on top of a rollup. The third one, is you could potentially subsidize all usage. You know, we have the uh, major paradigm shift with account abstraction coming up. What you could do is you could basically subsidize all your users, just like the rest of the internet did, by charging them for things that they actually value rather than for every transaction. So this is the next feature. And then finally, you want to do all of this while getting the benefits of being on a common composition layer like Ethereum. Uh, you can access the existing liquidity, but also build on top of others features that are building on top of a common framework. So we think rollups are the absolutely correct framework to actually build consumer applications. And for crypto to reach 1 billion users, we all talk about it, we really need to bring very powerful new consumer applications. But to build a rollup today is not all fun and games. There are a whole bunch of problems. So the first one is throughput. Right, crypto devs worry a lot about block space. If you're a cloud developer, you never worry about cloud space. In fact, none of you heard that word, cloud space. It's because cloud stretches as much as there is demand for it. Cost economics, if you're building something on the cloud, Amazon Web Services will quote you a reserved price for running a server, you know, Tencent Cloud or whatever other things also have the same mechanics, guaranteed cost basis, so you know what you're actually paying for. Crypto devs face high erratic costs. Yuga Labs does a board ape drop and you're drowned in somebody else's traffic, congestion, high costs that you are facing as an externality of others. Security, you could try to solve these problems of throughput and cost economics by just running a single node, but that is not secure and you lose the main properties, native incentives, permissionless innovation, governance, all of these things. And finally, if you're building a cloud application, you have lots of features. You go to Amazon, you can integrate a whole bunch of software as a service tools to actually help build your application. We got none of that going in crypto today. What do we do? So that's what we are aiming to solve with Eigenlayer, particularly the first product we're building on Eigenlayer called EigenDA, Eigen Data Availability. What is data availability? A quick primer before we go into the four features. Data availability is, if you're running a, so I said, rollups are like servers. 
Ethereum is like the internet connecting these rollups. So, if rollups are servers, one of the important thing you want to do is to verify that the servers are doing the thing correctly because that's what crypto is about. Don't trust anybody, verify. So, if you want to verify these things, you need to verify that the computation is done correctly, but also that the data inputs and outputs to the system are published transparently. That's what a data availability system does. That's what EigenDA is. Today, I'm not going to talk about how EigenDA works. I'm only going to talk about what I uh, what features EigenDA offers. Okay, so number one, EigenDA brings cloud scale to crypto. What do I mean by that? Today, uh, if you you can go and use Ethereum. You, you build a rollup. If you try to build a rollup on top of Ethereum, you're constrained by the data bandwidth of Ethereum. Ethereum's data bandwidth is very low. You know, people look at 4844, you know, which is a recent update on Ethereum and say, oh, you know, maybe there is enough bandwidth, but the data bandwidth of Ethereum's 4844 or proto dunk sharding is 32 kilobytes per second. I repeat, so you don't miss the number. 32 kilobytes per second for the world computer. We need to do much, much, much better to actually bring the cloud to crypto. There are two ways to think about rollups. One is offload traffic from Ethereum to a rollup. That's not interesting to us. We want to onboard cloud to crypto. So this is not enough. So EigenDA is building a data availability system with a data bandwidth today, 10 megabytes per second, which is much larger than anything out there. While so, one way to get high bandwidth is to say that every node participating in the consensus needs to be a beefy super node. You know, the Solana approach. We're not taking that. We're taking the Ethereum approach. Simple lightweight nodes, but each node only needs to have 0.5 megabytes per second, but you, together they can actually serve a high data throughput. And the reason is, in crypto today, decentralization works against scaling. If you want to be more decentralized, you're losing scale because you have to reduce the node requirements. In EigenDA, decentralization is scaling. Why? Because we horizontally scale. The total bandwidth of EigenDA is the sum total of all the node bandwidth. So you can have either nodes that have more bandwidth or you can just have more nodes. Since EigenDA is horizontally scaling, you can actually keep increasing the data bandwidth. And our goal is to scale this to potentially up to terabytes per second. That's the theoretical throughput available on Ethereum where you have millions of nodes each having one megabyte per second. Economics. How do you make sure uh, that the rollups economics actually competitive? So when you think about uh, a layer one, you have a lot of you know attractive features when you build your own layer one. The first one is compared to a layer one on a rollup, the data availability costs are high. Not only they're high, they're erratic, keep changing. Not only that, if you are a rollup, unlike if you're a layer one, you have a fixed fraction inflation to support your validators. If you're using some other data availability system, Ethereum or anything else, you're actually taking an exchange rate risk between your own token and ETH or whatever else you have to pay with. And finally, rollup tokens have no fundamental utility. Okay, so what do we do with EigenDA? How do you solve all these problems? A layer one token has, you know, a provision of decentralized trust as a core utility. Rollups with EigenDA can completely outrun layer ones. Why is this? So first one is DA cost is low. Why is it low? Because we have a lot of bandwidth, so the cost is low. The second one is because we have a, lo a lot of bandwidth, you we are not pricing for congestion. Pretty much all of blockchain is pricing for congestion, which means as the demand increases, the price will increase. If there is no demand, the price goes to zero. 4844, Ethereum's blob store, has zero price for pretty, pretty much a long time. It's because it's pricing for congestion. Cloud is not pricing for congestion. Cloud is pricing for your actual utilization. So we think this is a wrong paradigm. So we price for reservation. Come in and reserve that you have as a roll-up, a certain amount of bandwidth, you just pay for it. Now, nobody else can contend with you on that. Okay. The, the next one is you can pay data availability fees for reservation in your own token. So, you don't need to pay in ETH or Eigen or some other thing. Just pay in your own token. 
and finally roll ups using eigen and ea can participate in dual staking dual staking is you actually use your own token to also verify data availability in addition to using each staking on eigen ea and this is a really powerful thing and it's one click you don't have to do much work it's already there as part of the eigen ea system okay so you know you can't lose you, you can't gain these properties by losing security and the way eigen ea gets security is using eigen layer eigen layer is a platform of decentralized trust built on ethereum each stakers can participate in providing trust and so the elements of trust are we have each staking we have you know the node operators potentially coming from a similar node operator set as ethereum so you get decentralization and then finally you also get not only the uh, economic crypto economics of each staking but you also get the crypto economics of your own token because you can have dual staking so you your security is the better of the eth quorum and your own quorum okay so these so we talked about throughput we talked about cost we talked about uh, security what features do ethereum rollups lack today and what can we do about them so here what i do is i list out all the ethereum rollup limitations and how building on eigen da eigen layer actually can redeem some of these limitations um the first one is ethereum's data bandwidth you know that was the rest of the talk and on eigen layer we have these things called avs actively validated services these are services that consume ethereum trust and build arbitrary new systems for you so the eigen layer avs that helps solve this problem is eigen da and you know you can now scale data bandwidth ethereum rollups also have other problems finalization time is too slow it takes 12 minutes to finalize a transaction on ethereum and if you are a rollup writing transactions infrequently to ethereum it may take much more time so what you could do is you can actually have a fast finalization layer yachi just talked about mock alt layers fast finalization layer as a mechanism to solve this problem so one way to think about it is when you're building a rollup initially what you're doing is you're running a single server and then testifying to ethereum that you're actually doing the right thing and then what you see is oh you know there are many elements of trust that are actually not uh that that can be augmented to the server like fast finality and then those can be built as eigen layer avss that you can just simply integrate and then centralized sequences you know if you you have a single node that you're trusting for ensuring the correctness now you can build decentralized sequences again alt layer has decentralized sequencing in the restake roll up other people like espresso have shared decentralized sequences which are used across many rollups bridging is a big problem in rollups you know to bridge from one rollup to the other can take a long time you have to settle your rollup to ethereum 7 days can you do super fast bridging if you had enough economic assurance that that rollup has done this thing correctly then you can actually use that certificate to move value around rollups instantly not after 7 days so lots of new restake bridges coming up which actually give you both the full security of being an ethereum layer 2 while providing instant uh, confirmations and finally you can do mev management you know is a big problem uh, and you can solve this using modular mev so right now we what we talked about is missing or like limitations of being a rollup and how they can be solved using eigen layer but it's not only redeeming your problems you can actually create new and powerful features eigen layer brings a vast array of auxiliary services to rollups using eigen da oracles built on top of eigen layer e oracle just announced recently that they are launching on eigen layer keepers which are which do event driven actions on top of eigen layer you want to do two factor authentication uh new protocols coming up using uh tls notaries fully homomorphic encryption there are already projects like inco and phoenix building on top of eigen layer which bring encrypted computation you can directly compute on private data zero knowledge proof verification align layer brevis building really interesting zk proof verification ai co processes you're sitting in ethereum running uniswap but you want to make sure that your contracts have access to ai protocols ai intelligence to update prices to do dynamic actions 
with program integrity. Ritual is an example of AI coprocessor. We have many more coming up in the AI segment. So, the way to think about it is when you build a roll up on top of Ethereum and use Eigenlayer EigenDA, you can start consuming these really powerful services and build powerful consumer applications. With that, I'll stop. Thank you so much, Yachi Dorothy, for this invitation.